Okay, a very good morning kids. You are watching Seema Makhijani's channel and we are talking about an important topic of chemistry in the chapter Structure of Atom, Unit 2, named as the Pauli's Exclusion Principle. Now, I will give you the statement first. No two electrons in an atom, we are talking about a particular atom, an atom has many electrons in it, for example oxygen has 8, nitrogen has 7, scandium has how many? How many? 21. Iron has 26. So on. They can have these two, no two electrons in an atom. No two electrons can have the values of all four quantum numbers same. That means there has to be a difference in the value of quantum number. Now what are the quantum numbers used for? They give you the address to the electron. If two electrons have the same address, everything is same about them then they would repel each other. Therefore, it is not possible that two electrons can have exactly same address. They are negatively charged and if they have everything to be same, the spins are also same, then in that case they were bound to repel each other and the atom would become unstable. So, to account for that, what is done is, no two electrons will have the same set of quantum number values is the principle which has been applied. Now, I will take two examples. The first example that I am taking is magnesium. What is the atomic number for magnesium? 12. Let's write the electronic configuration for magnesium. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. If you are doubting how to go about it, please refer to my video on off boss principle. You can also have a look at Hans rule of maximum multiplicity in case you are struggling with these rules of quantum model. Now, let me talk about the box configuration now. Let me talk about this box configuration. You have 1s with 2 electrons, 2s with 2 electrons. 2p would always have 3 orbitals. Therefore this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Why did I go like this? Is justified by Hans rule. Last is 3s again 2. Now you can take use of any 2 electrons. I will take 2 examples in it to get the concept clear. The first example I am taking is these two electrons. Is that okay? Now both the electrons are in 3s. That's one important thing. Since both of them are in 3s, the n value is 3. That is the principal quantum number. The l value is 0 because we are talking about the s subshell. Coming to the ml value. ml values if you remember can be from minus l, 0 to plus l. So what is the ml value? If L is 0, ml values are also 0. So for both the electrons, both of them are in 3s, they have same n value, l value, ml value. Now what am I left with? I am left with the spin value and that's where they are different. This particular electron has ms value to be plus half because it is clockwise while this particular electron has the ms value to be minus half. So these two electrons are in accordance with the Pauli's exclusion principle saying that the two electrons, these two electrons also despite the fact that their n, l and ml values are same, the ms values are different that is one has a plus half while the other has a minus half. Fine, we are clear on that. So that was one. You could take any other example. I can take this particular electron and I can take this particular electron. Alright. Now, since both of them are in 2p. So, for this particular electron, n is equal to 2 because it is in 2p. L is equal to 1 because it is in 2p. Now, this electron is also in 2p. Therefore, n is equal to 2 for this. L is also equal to 1 for this because this is also in 2p. Now, coming to the value of magnetic quantum number. Now, the magnetic quantum number is different because they are in the different orbitals. Magnetic quantum numbers can have value minus L, 0 to plus L. Now, L value is minus 1. So, the ML values possible are minus 1, 0 and plus 1. Let me take this particular orbital has a minus 1, this has 0 and this has plus 1. So, my first electron I am talking about this, the ML value will be minus 1. While for this one, the ml value is 0. So, there is the difference. And what about the ms value, the spin? 
as you can see i have taken both the electrons of clockwise spin so the value of ms in both of them is plus half but the rule stays applicable because they are differing in the ml value they do not have all the four values to be same i'll take one more example for you to understand this this example could be okay we can take it for mm, fine i'll take oxygen oxygen we have the for oxygen what do i have 1s2 2s2 and 2p4 fine so this is your 1s this is your 2s and for 2p you draw three boxes 1s 2s 2p two electrons here two electrons here one two three and then the fourth that is how you are supposed to do it now which two electrons do you want me to take i'll take two examples let me take the example of this one first the first example that i'm taking is one is this electron and the other is this electron fine now talking about this electron it is in 1s so n is 1 it is in s l is equal to 0 coming to this electron n it is in 2s so n is equal to 2 so there's a difference so the rule is applicable these two electrons do not have the same value of quantum numbers i don't need to go ahead because n is different so the quantum number values are not going to be same there's no point going ahead is that fine now i would take these two examples one this and one this fine so when we talk about these two the first one it belongs to 2p therefore n is equal to 2 l is equal to 1 because it is in 2p before p subshell l is always 1 now coming to the ml value and the ms value is to be done similarly for this particular electron which is also in 2p therefore n is equal to 2 l is equal to 1 this much is clear ml in a minute and ms since the orientation given is clockwise so this is plus half this is also plus half now the agenda is the three quantum numbers are same which means we have to check what is the value for the magnetic quantum number now magnetic quantum number for the p subshell when l is equal to 1 we are talking about the p subshell the l value is equal to 1 for the p subshell then the ml value is minus 1 0 and plus 1 let me take this to be minus 1 sub orbital this is 0 orbital for ml and this is plus 1 therefore this particular electron falls in the plus 1 value while this particular electron falls in the 0 value and that's where the difference is so the rule that we were studying was the Pauli's exclusion principle states that no two electrons in an atom can have the values of all the four quantum numbers same there i can rewrite this rule in another way the other way of writing the same rule could be that i can say that an orbital can have a maximum of two electrons now what do i mean by that let me take this particular example this is one orbital 2s so if i'm talking i'll just justify this particular statement what do i mean by this so if i'm talking about the two electrons of 2s these are the two electrons okay now in this in these two electrons this particular one n would be 2 for both of them because they are in 2s l would be 0 for both of them because they are in 2s ml value is 0 because l is 0 but they differ in the spin so they can reside together they can exist in an atom only because their ms values for one is plus half and the ms value for the other is minus half had there been another electron here let me take another electron in this let's what will i do the options of the spin are only two so if those possibilities are a clockwise le liya, I can't take a le hai, chalo, clockwise. Theke? I'm just explaining it. Agar is orbital mein, there are three electrons. Now, what is the status of this particular electron? It belongs to 2s. So n is 2, l is equal to 0, ml is equal to 0, and ms, since I've taken it to be clockwise, would be plus half. Now these values are matching with this particular electron. 
which means the third electron can never reside in the same orbital. Is that okay? So the other way of stating the Pauli's, sorry, the Pauli's exclusion principle states that an orbital can have a maximum of two electrons. If there is a third, then the quantum number set would match. And that is not possible. Fine. With this, I conclude the Pauli's exclusion principle for the quantum numbers. I hope you are liking the concept and are understanding it. In class 11, this is the quantum model we are talking about in the chapter of Structure of Atom, Unit 2. There are other videos for this particular chapter and the other chapters too. Please keep watching and sharing it. Thanks a ton. Bless you loads. Do well in life.